whenever i presented an idea in college the most common reply i got was anish think out of the box while everyone asked me to think out of the box no one told me how to in today's video we are going to do exactly that we'll understand what is thinking out of the box also known as second order thinking and how can you inculcate that in your everyday lives Have you ever made a decision which you thought was foolproof nothing can go wrong only to realize that there were unintended consequences down the line a crunch in the cheeseburger and you skipping the gym that infinite scrolling on instagram skipping your study schedule or you chasing a revenge trade sweet guilty pleasures which we all go through isn't it we mostly do this stuff to satisfy our adrenal rush or to feel better or to convince someone but we tend to miss the bigger picture only when we move beyond the immediate consequences we realize the true impact of our actions like in the examples that i mentioned it is very clear that by skipping the gym or eating junk your health will go for a toss and you mindlessly scrolling on instagram instead of studying will result in bad grades or lying to someone will not make us trustworthy anymore so we need to do a causes and benefit and cost benefit analysis before making any rational decision let's understand this with more examples We all know stock markets tend to give a positive return in the long run and India being a developing nation is doing extremely well with respect to other markets but during the March 2020 covid crash most retailers like you and me ended up selling our stocks at a huge loss assuming that businesses all businesses will shut down and economies will not recover in the near to medium term we forgot to see the past trends and assumed that every business will be affected equally someone who was smart enough to analyze the past trends would conclude that this is a short term effect and this will not affect all businesses and we all know what happened after the crash sensex and nifty both rose by over 100% even reaching all time highs from the covid crash lows so what does this example teaches understanding and interpreting the unknown by making use of past data let me give you a recent example a few quarters back the auto companies came out with their results which were honestly disappointing so general people's mentality was to sell these stocks as most of the big auto stocks like maruti tata mahindra saw a dip of 12 to 14% but a second order thinker would go deep and see the unseen what was the unseen the dip in the sales and revenue numbers was driven by one factor that is the shortage in semiconductor chips so the demand for chips would rise benefiting the chip manufacturing companies a second order thinker would go and research for the best chip manufacturing companies and invest in them as our example show most decisions need a deeper level of exploration and this is the crux of second order thinking when we move beyond the immediate and obvious it is then you start connecting the dots you make better decisions which have a higher chance of a positive outcome in the long run now that you have understood what is second order thinking or thinking out of the box let's quick Quickly understand how we can incorporate this kind of thinking in our daily routine. Step one: Ask a lot of questions. Do not settle when you have the first solution or conclusion. Ask yourself a lot of what if questions. This allows you to get a set of possible outcomes, and then you can compare the options. This approach allows you to understand the depth and breadth of the issue in a curious and thorough way. Let's take the example of you having junk food regularly. The first order effect here is the craving for junk food. Whereas the second order thinking involves what effect the consumption will have over the long term. To increase the level of clarity, ask relevant questions like what would i want my body to look like in the next 5 years what are some health implications i would end up suffering from for example diabetes hypertension etc how will the weight affect my social and working life thus seeking an immediate solution is not necessarily by solving a problem but by going through unintended consequences of your decision two by involving others speak with a lot of people so that you get different perspectives sometimes we are stuck in first order thinking because we simply do not know what other outcomes are possible 
But when we bring others into the decision making process, we get exposed to new perspectives and ideas. This is why it's very important for you to consult people with contrarian or opposite ideas or views. Let's look at the recent example. Remember the shocking reports in 2019 about VG Siddhartha, founder of Cafe Coffee Day who took 7000 crores loans for the company. He gave up without trying, even without consulting the management as to how to deal with the situation. His wife, Malavika Hegde, took on the problem head on, even though she was not from the business background or was never involved in the Cafe Coffee Day business. She took this as a challenge and took opinions from the management and also consulted a lot of other businesses to tackle with the debt problem. In just one year, she was successful in reducing the debt from 7,000 crores to 1,200 crores. This shows that everything is possible as long as you can avoid ego and biases in the decision making. Involve as many people as possible, get contrarian views and perspectives so that you can get the best possible outcome. 3. Map a mental model You should have a mind map ready which contains the possible outcomes and hurdles that you're likely to face and also have a backup plan. For example, a wrestler fights in a certain way and puts the opponent in a defensive position. At the end of it, the wrestler will know exactly how to break that defensive position and win. So, the wrestler in this case needs to know the opponent's thought process 2-3 to three steps ahead. This is exactly why you need to think like a wrestler and have a mind map ready. This is only possible by having a clear plan of action which is followed by 1. A list of potential hurdles that you are likely to face and how will you deal with those hurdles. 2. Have a strong backup plan ready in case of any setbacks or rejections. Think long term. The power of second order thinking comes from looking beyond the short term implications and looking long term. Sometimes short term pain may result in long term gain. You also need to trade off between love it now, pay later or pay now and love it later. I'm sure a lot of students do not like studying every day. The innumerable assignments, the countless exams that we give, the practical submissions, etc. all take a toll on us. But when you get that permanent job in your dream company, you'll all be thankful. So definitely people who pay now and love it later benefit the most. From an investment point of view, if you're a value investor, it should be in your nature to look at your investment from a long-term perspective. Remember the COVID example that we spoke about? One way of inculcating long-term thinking is to take your decision and then see what the results will be in the next one day, one week, a month, a year, 5 years or even 10 years. Lastly, life is a game of probability versus possibility. Let's understand this with a small example. Many of us tend to pick a lot of penny stock with the hope that at least one or two of these stocks will end up being multi-baggers. While it is true that this event can be a possibility, but what is the probability of this event becoming true? What are the odds of these penny stock becoming multi-baggers? Like, do they have increasing revenue numbers? Do they have increasing sales? Is the debt reducing or is the EPS increasing? Check fundamentally if the companies are improving or not and also look for other companies which are giving better returns. The probability of a penny stock turning into a multi-bagger is very low because of the bad fundamentals and deteriorating business model. So for any decisions that you make, keep in mind to assign a probability score on the possibilities. Only then you will get a reality check on all the decisions that you would be making. Thus, second order thinking is a means of assessing the applications of our decisions by considering the future consequences. It is a mental model that considers all future possibilities. It also discourages the tendency for individuals to default to most obvious choices. So with this, we come to the end of the video. Hope you could learn something useful today and please type down what are the next topics you would want us to cover because here in Grow, we grow together. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you want to be a better version of yourself both professionally and personally and stay tuned.